Let's take a look at the new Mixer Follow selection feature of Arda 8. Now, all the versions of Arda have offered both groups and VCAs as mechanisms to use when you want to control more than one track or one mixer strip at the same time. And these are both quite powerful mechanisms, mostly independent, but they do have some relationship to each other. And they're extremely useful when you have tracks that you know you always want to, to operate on as a group all at the same time. They're not so useful, however, when you want a little bit more flexibility. So before we talk about the new feature, let's go and, and just remind ourselves of how groups work. So let's suppose we select this track, this track, and this track. We'll go up to the group tab here, right click, create new group from selection. We have a dialog that pops up. We'll just leave all of the groups enabled and uh, now we have a group, and if we move one of the faders in the group, any of the faders in the group, they'll all move together. If we solo one of the members of the group or mute one of the members of the group, they'll all mute together. So very nice mechanism, particularly when you know you always want to operate on all of these three tracks, in this case, all at the same time uh, in a linked way. But sometimes it's not quite what you want, and you want an ability to, to do a more ad hoc kind of a group that isn't persistent. So let's say we select this track and the track next to it. Now we move the faders, they move together just as if they were in a group. If we solo one of them, they're both selected, so they both solo. If we mute one of them, they're, they're both selected, so they both mute. So now in order eight, it, it, if you don't need to form a persistent group, you can simply select more than one track at the same time and have control over all of the selected tracks from by just using one of them. Now, what are the things that are controlled or what are the things that are that follow the selection status? Well, obviously I've just shown mute, solo, and the faders. But many of the things in the mixer strip that, ha that have a, a distinct control have this property. So rec enable, obviously, solo isolate, solo lock, the input monitoring status buttons are shared. And then lastly, but not leastly, the um, input trim uh, control up here, those are, are also shared or they will follow the selection. So if you edit one of the selected tracks, the others will follow it too. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning that is not shared in this way is panning. So if you pan one of the selected tracks, it does not pan the, uh, the others. That, that's a decision that I can imagine we might revisit in the future, but that's the way things are for now. So this is this new very flexible mechanism. Obviously the tracks do not need to be ad adjacent to each other. We, we, we can select tracks that are spread apart and when we move the faders, they'll still function as if they're in a uh, temporary or ad hoc group. Um, now, one thing that is worth mentioning here is the way that uh, the group mechanism can interact with the mix of all those uh, selection feature. So you might ask, well, what happens if I select one member of the group? I select it and because we left all of the group properties enabled, all members of the group become selected. And when we adjust the fader, they all move just as we would have expected whether this was based on them being in a group or based on them being selected. Now you can imagine some scenarios where that's not quite what you want. And so what, what you can do there is to go up to the, the group tab, right click, select edit group, and in the group property dialog, we'll disable selection. And what this means is when we select one member of the group, the other members of the group are not selected. That now means that we could select another track or more than one other track that is not part of the group. We can modify one of the selected tracks and all the selected tracks, including the one that's in the group, will be modified. So here you see a sort of a strange intersection of, of these two properties. Because we turned off selection for the group, what you're now seeing is that the uh, mixer is following what tracks are selected rather than uh, a pre-existing group. Now, of course, one could do this in reverse. Um, 
let's go up and turn selection properties for the group back on. Let's select the group. And now we can add an additional member to this. So now we get our members of the group plus our additional track being soloed, muted, having to gain control and so on. So this should hopefully make for a slightly more flexible workflow for those of you who don't really feel much of a need or a desire to create persistent groups or use VCAs. Um, I hope this is useful. Please do enjoy.